KPM.
KPM Dede TV KPM My name is Brandon, team leader. This is Arif, the software engineer, and this is Is, the builder and designer. Together, we from Sabres 2 would like to introduce Project Reforest, reforestation made easy. Climate change is a really pressing issue. One of the biggest causes is this, excessive logging or deforestation. The solution is what you see before you today, Project Reforest. Project Reforest has three main components, carbon, power power, and hydrotech. These three components working hand in hand with Bluetooth connection can fully automate the process of reforestation by executing its key processes planting, watering, and mulching. The entire process also can be monitored through a single app. How does this work? Let us show you. As you can see, we have already connected all three components. Now, let us press continue to begin. As you can see now, it's beginning to be fast. So, Pampo is triggering the first tree to move it to the first hole. And now, when the arm is up, we will transfer the tree to the first hole, it's hole 1. When the planting uh, process is done, you will begin the process of mulching. Mulching is the process of putting mulch onto a planted sapling. By doing this, we can cover the sapling and give it more nutrients to grow healthily. Now, the process will repeat again for the second hole. Pangwa will retrieve the second one from the R tower and we'll move it to the second hole is hole 2. When it reaches hole 2, the pumping begins. And soon after that, the process of mulching will begin. After the process of mulching is done, we'll return back to the base. So basically, the R tower knows when to distribute the plants the robot by using ultrasonic sensor which helps it to detect the presence of the robot. By then, it will activate the motor, distribute the plants to the robot. Right now, the robot is going to the third hole. Now, as you can see, this robot can move very precise on the cornering and moving through the line because we have integrated two sensors. The sensor is a color sensor for Lego Maximum Imagery. Now, this sensor will uh, make us able to integrate the method of line following so we will able to make precise movement for the country and like following throughout the whole five poles to finish the task. As you can see on the app, right now three holes have been planted as the robot has already reached the third hole. As you can see down here, as you can see here, it is now retained the base and now it is at a starting point. Right now the process repeats again for the fourth hole. Plant one is retrieving the fourth plant and now it's going to the fourth hole. One of the important values of uh, Project Reforest is just a real-time data, data monitoring which means we can view the real-time status of all the plants and what the robot is doing right now. 
So this whole process can be done independently without the need for manual worker and thus less cost. As you can see, in conclusion, PlantBot is capable of planting and mulching, whereas our tower is capable of distributing and watering. We also have real-time monitoring, as you can see in the app, to monitor the entire process of whatever PlantBot is doing. So right now, the PlantBot is returning back to the base to complete this last task. That is to retrieve the last plant to go to the fifth hole, that is the last hole, and to complete this whole process. When the arm is up, I'm going to drag the line to follow using the sensor from DB3, that is the color sensor. Uh, we put it, the sensor both on the front and the back of the robot. This will uh, ensure our plant bot to move front and backwards very precisely. Let's look at the app. Oh, would you look at that? I have just received the notification. Now, watering shall commence. As you can see, now the hydrogen is pumping water through the, all the five holes. The way hydrogen works is that it's connected to one pump, one uh, hole, one hose that will distribute water to all the five holes. And this is the final operation of the planting process. Our mission is to increase the forest cover in Malaysia by offering a more reliable and faster also cheaper system for reforestation. This will promote reforestation on a much larger scale and thus reducing the carbon emission and regulating the oxygen content in our atmosphere. Who is this invention for? So basically, uh, our project here is related to reforestation and is more towards, uh, more towards volunteers and also non-government government organizations like Pharma. And this project is also related to planting, so farmers and businesses can use it to What can we plan to do to grow? First of all, we are planning to use Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. Next, we are planning to do full monitoring for the first two years to protect the saplings from the pound, which uh, includes all the features already included with base control. Also, we want to use sustainable energy as well as integrating artificial intelligence. This is the programming. As you can see here, this is the program for EV train, MIT. This is the interface for MIT. It's programming. And lastly, the programming for Arduino. In this entire journey, we have learned many valuable lessons. I, for one, have learned that trust and communication is extremely important when executing any project. And I also learned that we should be open-minded to accept new things. In conclusion, Project Reforest has the potential to fully automate reforestation by cross-platforming Lego Minecraft imagery, MIT Inventor, and Arduino. The adverse effects of climate change are all around us. So, let us all work together for a brighter and better future. Thank you. TV KPM. TV KPM Hi, I'm Trudy Kumar, the team leader with my fellow members Ilya Kiaia, I'm a software engineer and also Iyad Majdi, the builder. So, 395.98 kilograms. What, are these, what does this entail? It, it's the amount of food waste generated by a single person in a year. Well, our problem statement is how to effectively reduce this food wastage as its mass accumulation can lead to excessive release of methane gas into the atmosphere. So, our Optimus Composter is an easy and eco-friendly way for you to compost in a small living space, such as your home or maybe your backyard even, to save the environment and help fight climate change. Components in the Optimus. First, you have the character. But there are three main components here. First of all, is the Bokashi Tupperware. What is Bokashi? Good question. Bokashi brand is a medium that feeds up composting and as it contains microbes. Secondly, we have the compressor here, which compresses the compost to eliminate air pockets. Lastly, we have the blender, which shreds and shreds big chunks of food into smaller chunks. All the components of the of Optimus Composter are within where food waste and Bokashi brand are layered inside. After a few weeks of composting, they are put into the tumbler barrels 
and tumbler barrel is connected to the soil vent. Soil is put in here, and inside here, out comes higher quality compost. Then there is a tea collector which collects bokashi tea. Bro, can I bring this tea? No, you can't. Bokashi tea is actually a tea that is filled with microorganisms which gives it cleaning properties. So you can use it as Clorox to uh, clean surfaces in your house. How does it work? Well, you'll have to find out. First, the bin is being collapsed. Can you break it? This returns it to its original position. So today, I'm going to be using vegetable peels and also fruit peels. These are smaller chunks, so I can directly put that into the bin. You can also add rice in there too. Next, as you can see, the bokashi jar is being opened and the bokashi bread is being spread into the bin. The compressor takes over now. It's compressing the compost to eliminate any air pockets. Next is the blending. Here, the blending takes over. So do take note, no any liquid uh, waste can be added into this bin. For example, bale. As now you can see, the whole process, the layering process of bokashi and the compression keeps on repeating until the bin is being full. This is to eliminate any air pockets and to make the whole system airtight. As the first bin is being full, next, let's move on to the second bin. Here, this bin, there's two weeks worth of compost in there and it's been composting. Let's see how it's going to be eliminating the compost into um, nutrient-rich soil. As you can see here, the compost is being pushed out using the compressor arm into the thumbnail barrel. Next, we're going to be adding the salt into the salt bag to the thumbnail barrel bag. As you can see here now, the tumbler arm is rotating and it's spinning and it's breaking down the compost and also the salt and eating it together. As the end result, here you get the... Ta-da! This is your... What is known as the black bowl, which is your end solid fertilizer. Then, we have integrated our system with an app. We call it the Optimus Composting app. We have created profiles for each and every person. And in this app, they can go to the Learn page. Learn page provides essential information for so many things regarding compost. Then, there is the store. The store is where you can list these black gold and your bokashi tea so that you farmers or other people can get them on demand and people can also get incentive to compost. So in conclusion, climate change is a huge problem and we must all get together to fight it. This is our product that we propose Optimus Composting and we hope everyone will get in on the bandwagon and fight climate change together. That's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Hauser. My name is Carrie. Our project name is Hunters of the Sky. Box with one gear plus 24 tooth gear and 40 tooth gear to operate the movement of the eagle. At 
the same time, gearbox also extends two gear extensions to generate power for the movement of the seagull, waterfall and the owl. We are connecting extra gear to two 24 tube gear for the owl wings movement. of the project is from the eagle statue in Pulau Langkawi. Both eagle and owl are the strongest animal hunters of the sky for day and night. Therefore, we put them together in our project. We, we hope, hope you like, like our little invention. invention. Thank you. KPM